This is how to connect up a Galaxy Flex panel to use the GX remote control app. First of all, we connect up this comms module here with your Ethernet cable, your power that goes through to your control panel, and this one will be from your actual power supply that supplies the panel with power. This cable up here is a jumper cable that connects to this part of the board here and making sure that this P3 panel link is on here. Once you've done this you can go to option 72, go to network automatic detect and you should detect an extra comms module. Next go to the website for your phone either Google Play or Apple iPhone and search for your GX remote control or Honeywell. It usually shows it as an app with an RC logo within the actual app itself and download it in your normal way and it should be a free application and the icon will look something like this one here with the GX remote control can't see that very well there but it will have the red RC in the middle of it anyway download that and install it next go to menu option 56.4 and turn on direct access and enable via Ethernet. The next part here you will need to actually connect to the actual unit itself. Next you need to open the app and first of all connect to the Wi-Fi network that you're actually going to connect to. On this first line here once you've connected to the Wi-Fi that your panel is connected to is select what type of panel you're actually using the Flex 20 the option that you're going to connect to over Wi-Fi and click on OK the password you don't need to enter the pin is the pin that you would generate and use in the keypad and the user number index is where it is actually saved so for example if that would be user 23 and the IP address of the Ethernet module that you've programmed in under the communications option in the main panel. Once you've connected successfully you should get this icon here which will show you at the moment that the system's on set. Now just to prove that it works I can do the code and press A I'm pressing the A button there allow the system to instant set and then we can do the same again to disarm the system now there is an option that you have to go to in cameras in the option 56.4 where you can change the details of keypad 52 this option this option here for select keypad address 52 if you go to menu 58 and select the keypad address 52 this would be simpler if you actually do this option when you're actually connected with the app 
you can actually get to this menu easier as the app has to be connected to change this option otherwise it will just say that it's invalid. Basically what you need to do is you need to set it so that the A key is set to instant set and the B button is set to part set and that will then allow you to disarm the system instantly and then it will give you the different icon on the screen on your app to show you that it's actually armed or disarmed just remember that this menu is easier to get to if you're using the app and it has to be connected at the time otherwise 52 won't be there once you've armed your system and you've logged out when you log back in you'll see this screen which is showing you that this system is now actually set and this one's your icon for it being unset so I hope that was of use to you thanks